the DJI M30T. It is the best drone of all time. That's my opinion. I'm gonna tell you why, don't go anywhere. Hey everybody, David here from Aerial Influence. Thank you so much for stopping by. Who am I? Well, I'm one of the owners of a company called Aerial Influence. We work with people who are thinking about using drones to start their own businesses. We work with public safety for search and rescue. We work with agricultural drones like the giant spraying drones. We also happen to sell these drones. So we sell DJI Enterprise drones like the one we're talking about today. So you should know that we do sell these, but this is my opinion on this drone. I really do think it's the best drone ever. I think it's the best drone on the market today for the value. About three months ago, I did put together a video about some of the key features, but I've had more time to mess around with this drone and to go out and actually do some testing a little more than I had at the time. So I wanted to make an update video. You guys also sent me a bunch of comments of things that I left out. So I wanted to include some of those as we talk about this, the DJI M30T. This thing is amazing. It's a beautiful drone that once it gets up in the air, it's even more beautiful. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna walk you through some of the highlights of this drone, some of the things it can do, the capabilities, and then we'll talk about the pricing of it at the very end. So let's get started. All right, let's start with that thermal sensor, 640 by 512. That's the highest resolution you're gonna get on a thermal camera right now, especially on a drone. But you take this thermal camera and you are able to get accurate heat signatures from 400 feet up in the air. That's a huge upgrade from what you used to be working with, you know, with the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise Dual. That was like, you know, 112 by something. It was very, very low resolution. And now we're up to 640 by 512. This thermal tool is so valuable when it comes to search and rescue. There could be a kid out in the middle of a field and with the drone, they can get out there and find that person within seconds, within minutes, when it's gonna take a group of 20 people five hours to search the same area, um, you know, it just, it doesn't make sense. So that thermal sensor, I can't say enough about it. It is absolutely amazing. And it's one of the reasons that public safety around the country are buying drones because you can get that drone up in the air with a thermal sensor. So that's why we're seeing a big uptick in sales uh, to public safety. Also, when talking about this drone, you gotta talk about the impressive zoom range, 16 times optical, 200 times digital. You really can focus in on something from a long way away. And in thinking about it, really useful for like bridge inspections, uh, windmill inspections, roof inspections. You can use that zoom range and not have to get close uh, actually fly close to whatever that structure is, you can still get a great zoom right in on it. Next up, let's talk about the laser rangefinder. That's right, there is a laser rangefinder on this drone. So you can point to a structure and it's gonna tell you the distance from the remote control. It's gonna give you GPS coordinates. It'll even give you the height of that structure. So really neat, if that's something you need as a laser rangefinder, you've got it right here on the DJI M30T. All right, now let's talk about pinpoints, waypoints, and mapping with the DJI Pilot 2 app. Really does make it very, very simple. You can point the camera at a certain location, drop a pin, you can then go drop another pin, you can then go drop another pin, and you can fly waypoints. Now, through the Pilot app, you can also do some mapping. It's gonna help you take all of those photos you need for ortho mosaic mapping or for just regular 2D mapping. So you're also gonna get that function. And the pinpoints are great, especially for public safety. They can drop a pinpoint and go back and check an area out again if they need to. So they drop that pinpoint, that's now on their map. They can then hit a button on their remote control and the drone will automatically fly to that point or the camera can automatically point to that pinpoint. So it's a good feature for public safety absolutely for them to keep track of things they've seen uh, in the middle of an operation. All right next up is the form factor and I absolutely just love this thing. You can see it, you can fit it in one hand uh, very carefully, obviously. But everybody jokes about it. It's somewhere between a Matrice 300 RTK and a Mavic 3. It's like those two got together and had a baby. It's very sleek looking, like both of those drones. It's got a great look if you're not a little terrified of it. Sort of looks like something out of Minority Report, the movie. But the medium form factor really is great. I mean, you can fit this thing in a backpack. 
Now you can also fit the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced and the Mavic 3 Enterprise Advanced when that comes out. You can also fit those in a backpack as well. But this drone is gonna give you a lot more functionality and it's just great that it comes in this sleek little form. The next thing I love about this drone is it can be quickly deployed. One minute, under one minute, you can get this drone up in the air. I've done it, so I know that you can do it, uh, but that is a great thing about this drone. For public safety, if you gotta get this thing up in the air quickly, uh, this is a fantastic drone for that. Flight time on this drone is actually very good. Uh, they rated it like 41 minutes. I think you're gonna get about 35 minutes with normal use, but that is a very solid flight time for the M30T. Speaking of flight time, you get two batteries for this drone and they are hot swappable. What does hot swappable mean? It means the drone is up in the air with two batteries in it, obviously. It lands, you pop one battery out, put a new one in. Pop the other battery out, put a new one in, the drone goes right back up. It never has to be turned off so you don't have to like reboot the remote and then reboot the drone. None of that, it just goes straight back up in the air. This drone also has kind of a night vision. You can toggle it on or off, or you can set it to auto so that once it gets dark outside, it'll automatically kick on. But this is different than thermal. You're not reading heat signatures here. What this is actually doing is collecting like moonlight. All of the available light, it's trying to collect. And it's gonna look like it's in black and white to you, but it's gonna give you a much better view at night. So it's a great feature and it's gonna make it easier for you to see at night which like I said, a lot of our clients are. If you're in search and rescue, public safety, you're flying at night a lot of the time and this is gonna make it easier for you. All right, one of the coolest and one of the creepiest features of this drone is active tracking. Uh, this isn't the active tracking that like your Mavic 3 can do. This is active tracking where the drone itself stays in one spot and the zoom camera, because it's so powerful with that 200 times zoom, it will follow an object for miles and miles, and I'm not kidding, as long as there are no obstructions in the way, that drone at 400 feet can follow a car for miles and miles. It can also do the same thing with human beings. So let's say that a convict escapes from prison, you get the drone up in the air, you see him running through a field, you can tap on him and the drone is gonna just continue following him until he hides, basically. Until he hides or he goes behind something that is gonna obstruct that view. But it is really one of the most advanced features of this drone really interesting and once you get it if you buy this drone you're gonna try it and just be amazed by it all right the speed the speed on this thing is about 51 miles an hour not a whole lot more to say about it that's in sport mode it's a really really fast drone and uh, you got to be careful with it when you turn sport mode on then you lose some of your sensors so it makes it more dangerous to fly so know that going in if you put it in sport mode you lose your sensors, but you can go really, really fast. All right, next up, let's talk about the remote control for this thing. This thing just makes me smile. The DJI RC Plus, we'll put it over here, see if we can get you a closer look of it. Uh, really, really is a great remote. Look how big that screen is. Uh, look how hefty it is. It's great in your hands. I definitely would get a lanyard for it. DJI does sell one of those, uh, but man, the buttons are laid out. You look at it and it looks like it might be a little bit confusing. Uh, just, it's got all these buttons and things. Um, but once you turn it on, you understand what all these buttons do. It makes it really, really easy. Huge upgrade over the old smart controller. Really, really love this remote. All right, speaking of that RC Plus, you can buy a second one and actually have dual controllers. So you can have one pilot that is just flying the drone. He's using the FPV camera that is on the very front of the drone. It doesn't move, it is static, but that's what he uses to fly. The other pilot can actually control the camera by itself. So they're not flying at all, they're just controlling the camera. They're just focusing on what they're looking at through that lens. Another big plus of the dual controllers is you can do what's called a handoff. So I'm here flying, I can see it for a mile and a half away. Then I've got somebody that is three miles away. It comes into his line of sight. He can then take over 
the drone from me. He asks permission, I can grant him permission to take over the drone. So that's another great plus of having two remotes. The other great thing about having dual controllers is you can leave one of them at like headquarters, plug it in to a TV through HDMI, and then you've got a live feed of whatever the other remote and the drone are actually doing out in the field. So one remote at headquarters, one remote out in the field with the drone flying, you can get the drone feed back at headquarters because it's got that long range, nine miles. Another really important factor here is weather resistance. Both the drone and the remote are weather resistant. Really, really important. Now we're not encouraging you to go fly in a torrential storm, but if you're out flying and it starts to rain, if you're out flying and it starts to snow, it is not going to hurt the drone. It's not gonna hurt the remote. They are both IP rated and can handle precipitation. Both the remote and the drone can also handle high temperatures, uh, 100 degrees plus Fahrenheit uh, or minus I think it was like 10 degrees. I probably got that wrong, but I'll put it up on the screen. So it's weather resistant and it can handle harsh outdoor environments. This drone is also RTK enabled. What does that mean? RTK stands for real-time kinematics, but what it is, it's GPS on steroids. It's gonna give you centimeter level accuracy on like your maps. If you're flying in harsh weather, if you're flying around a lot of magnetic interference, it's gonna give you more stability. So RTK, it's a great thing. If you don't know about it, do a little research on it or give us a call. We, we're happy to uh, explain it to you a little further. But the DJI M30T is RTK enabled. You do have to get like an RTK base station uh, to make that work, or you can log into a broadcast RTK network if you happen to have that in your area. Next up is clicky things. Why do I say clicky things? Because the arms click, the batteries click. I love that. You know that the batteries are fully inserted because when you push them in, they click. That wasn't always the case. Uh, now the arms, they fold out and there's like a little plunger that pops. So you know that that arm is fully locked. There's gonna be no surprises during your flight uh, because something wasn't clicked all the way. So I love the clicky things. Thank you DJI for putting clicky things on this drone. All right, let's talk about the anti-collision sensors. They are all over this thing, 360 degrees. You've also got them on top. You've also got them on the bottom. So really these drones are very protected by the AI that is actually inside of them. This drone, I would say, I mean, unless there's just a complete malfunction or unless you're just really being stupid and you turn sensors off or something like that, but it's hard to wreck this drone. And the one thing we always say is that you should treat the sensors like a seatbelt. It's great to have them. You should have them turned on. Uh, but you never want to have to use them. All right, we've gone through a ton of categories, but now it's time to talk about price. So the drone all in, eight batteries with the RC Plus, uh, with the drone, obviously, you get the hard case, you get the charging station, you get all that for around $16,000. I know a lot of you guys are looking at me saying, you are insane. Nobody needs a drone that is $16,000. Well, actually that's not true. And the price is really affordable for an enterprise drone with all of the features that this thing can do. So just so you know, the other drones out there, the enterprise drones from DJI, you're talking about the Matrice 300, which is gonna be around $30,000. It's got many of the same features that the M30T does, but it has replaceable gimbal. So you can change the cameras out. You know, it sort of future proofs it to a degree. So if DJI comes out with a new gimbal, it could potentially work with that drone as well. And you can also put several cameras on that drone. Where the M30T comes in, you can't actually change the camera, it is just a fixed gimbal down there. The other drone out there is the Mavic Enterprise. Uh, that's a great little drone. You get a spotlight, you get a speaker, you get a beacon that go on top, so you can use those different attachments. It's a small form factor, very, very quick to deploy, but that you're looking at around the seven to eight thousand dollar range uh, for the new Mavic 3 I'm not completely sure on that yet for the Mavic 3 Enterprise I don't know the price uh, completely just yet so my reasoning behind saying that the DJI M30T is the best drone of all time is the best drone out there is because of all those features you saw everything that I listed no other drone is going to have all of those features so it really is a great drone that's my story I'm sticking to it I really do think it's the greatest drone out there if you disagree 
hey, leave me a comment, give me a thumbs down, whatever you wanna do, it all helps the algorithm. And if you liked the video, I hope you did, uh, could you hit like and subscribe? We work really hard on these videos and we really wanna keep making them, so we appreciate the like and subscribe. And finally, if you're interested in buying a drone, make sure you reach out to us, give us a call. The information is on the screen right now. We appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you next time.